Authority weather forecaster Erica Bertin. Hey Veronica, yes, we need that rain, we need that water, and unfortunately even the monsoonal moisture that we're seeing streaming up from the south probably isn't going to do it for us, but we might see a sprinkle here or there. Here's what we saw tonight around sunset, some Virgo right there and those high clouds making for a beautiful sunset, at least for south parts of Salinas. The north side was already socked in by those low clouds. Highs today though, here's a look at what we saw. Parkfield 103, so it was toasty in southern Monterey County yet again today. King City 91, 86 for Hollister, B Big Sur 77, a little cooler in Washington at 75 and even cooler in Salinas at 73. But overall, it was a beautiful day out there. Very mild temperatures for our coastal locations. So if you're out there for car week, not a bad day to be driving around in your convertible. Here's a look at what we're seeing that monsoonal moisture pushing up into our area. We're going to see most of that through the overnight hours. And with that, the chance of some isolated showers continuing through the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. Now, this will move to the north of us come tomorrow afternoon noon and we will start to see more clear skies by around dinner time tomorrow night. We will have some lingering high clouds with this moisture out there. So do expect that tomorrow. Now what about the chance of lightning? Well, we are still seeing some instability in the models. Nothing to be concerned about. If we do see anything, it will be maybe a bolt or two, but the threat of seeing any major lightning is very, very low. But don't be surprised. Maybe you do see a flash or two out there with this system through the overnight hours. Again, most of this rain though, I think is just going to evaporate before it actually hits the ground. So that's why we ask you to send in your reports. Here's what we're looking at. Those isolated showers, like I mentioned, through the overnight hours, we'll see those start in the southern part of Monterey County. They will move up into the peninsula area and up into Santa Cruz as well. But again, by the afternoon, we'll see those lingering high clouds, some clearing possible, and we will see some even more clearing by dinner time, mostly sunny skies for most of our central coast locations, those little clouds sneaking back in for the Monterey Peninsula and immediate coastline as well. We will see those low clouds sneak into the valley locations once again tomorrow night into Friday morning before, well, they clear out again Friday afternoon. So very mild temperatures to look forward to tomorrow. Santa Cruz 76. We're seeing those upper 80s to low 90s in the Santa Cruz Mountains, a little cooler along the coast, 64. We're going to see those 60s and 70s along the coast tomorrow. 73 for Salinas. 85 in Hollister, so a little warmer inland. 68 for Marina, and we're going to see those 60s and 70s. Monterey Peninsula, 70 for Monterey tomorrow. Carmel by the Sea, 68, 67 for Pebble Beach out there. Up and down the Salinas Valley, well, again, wide variety of temperatures. 78 for Gonzales, warming up in King City to 90. And yes, those triple digits for Southern Monterey County still exist there tomorrow afternoon as well. A little cooler as we head west into Big Sur, 79 for Big Sur, 81 for Carmel Valley. So overall, temperatures a little warmer than what we are seeing today, but not by much. Here's a look at the next seven days. Isolated showers are expected tomorrow for both our coastal inland locations. I do expect to see some patchy fog out there tomorrow and Friday morning as well. But for our coastal locations, mostly Broken clouds, low clouds for the Monterey Peninsula, a little more clearing on the north side of the bay. We will see some gusty winds in this weekend, but look at this, very comfortable this weekend. Some warmer temperatures to look forward to before we see those seasonal temperatures return early next week. For our inland locations, well, we do have those afternoon winds for our valley locations, isolated showers tomorrow morning. We will start to clear out and see mostly sunny skies. And by this weekend, warmer temperatures and plenty of sunshine to look forward to. And again, coming back down to those seasonable temperatures by early next week. We'll be right back after this.